Good morning and welcome to our worship center. I'm so happy to have you here this morning. Let's start out with our greeting. The Lord be with you and also with you. It's so good to have you back here today with us. Let's start out with some of our songs praising God. Let's start out with one of our favorites, Jesus Loves Me. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Very good. How about we try another one of our favorites? Father, I adore you. Father, I adore you. Lay my life before you. How I love you. Jesus, I adore you. Lay do one other one that people always seem to want to sing. Let's get your candles out and let's do a couple verses of This Little Light of Mine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Shine it all over the neighborhood. I'm gonna let it shine. Shine it all over the neighborhood. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no. I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Don't let Satan it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let Satan it out. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. So great to praise God with our songs. Now as we're going to get ready to hear Pastor Ben tell us our story, let's work on quieting ourselves and just remembering that we're going to be with God and we can hear him speak to us or maybe we want to take time to speak to him. So let's get ourselves ready with our favorite quieting song. Be still and know that God is here. Be still and Hello friends, today's story is a song, a song from the Bible called Psalm 106. This psalm is a song of praise to God, but it's also a song that tells the story of God's people. In our last story, we heard about God giving his people the gift of his ten best ways. 
When God gave his people this gift, he said, if you follow my commands, life will work the way it's supposed to. But if you disobey my commands, you will have many problems. Psalm 106 talks about receiving God's commands, disobeying God's commands, and experiencing God's forgiveness. The psalm begins like this. Praise the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Who can proclaim the mighty acts of the Lord or fully declare his praise? Blessed are they who maintain justice, who constantly do what is right. Remember me, O Lord, when you show favor to your people. Come to my aid when you save them that I may enjoy the prosperity, the blessing of your chosen ones, that I may share in the joy of your nation and join your inheritance in giving praise. But we, your people, have sinned even as our fathers did. We have done wrong and acted wickedly. But for the sake of of God's promises, he remembered his people, and out of his great love, he showed mercy and love. Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Let all God's people say, Amen. God's people learned that God's word is true. When God's people obey God's commands, they experience God's blessing. When God's people disobey God's commands, they experience painful consequences. But when they go to God and say, God, I am sorry. God says, you are my people. I love you. This was true for the people of Israel in Old Testament times. And it is true for us, God's people today. I wonder what it was like for God's people to hear God say, if you obey my commands, you can trust that you will experience good things. I wonder what it was like for God's people when they disobeyed and when they suffered painful consequences. I wonder what it felt like to know that no matter the mistakes they made or the ways they disobeyed, God would always forgive his people and love them and take them back. Friends, now it is time for us to give thanks to God. You can say something that you are thankful for or something that you heard in today's story or something that you are looking forward to today or during the coming week. You may speak your thanks out loud, but you do not have to, because God hears even the thanks that we offer in our hearts. Let's get ready to pray. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. And now, wherever you are, offer your thanks to God in prayer. Lord our God, receive our thanks with grace. Amen. Now, I am going to change the light. The light is all in one place now. I'm going to change the light so it's not just one place, but every place. It can be in many places at once. Watch.
Now the light of Christ that was just one place is in all times and in all places by the Holy Spirit. So the light can be everywhere in this room and everywhere in the world. It is time for us to go now in peace. Receive God's blessing. The love of God go with you. Go in peace.